Okay. <clears throat> Hi, good morning or good afternoon. <laughs> good day. <laughs> good day. <laughs> I'm Mike with Prep for Emergency and uh, today we're going to show um, the different choices of just getting a basic bug out bag going for yourself. Um, these are just basic options. You can um, I've heard of people going to your local grocery store and doing it for twenty, thirty dollars, um, doing canned goods, food bars, things like that. So this is just basic stuff, starting with uh, just pouches of water. Um, each seventy-two hour kit comes with, I think, six pouches. So just enough to get you going for the day, um, and then <clears throat> your food ration bars, which are. Uh, these ones are 3,600 calories for per day, so each square represents one meal. And if you want to know what they taste like, it's kind of like a vanilla, vanilla lemon sponge cake. Spongy. Yeah, they're not bad. They actually taste pretty good. Just every crumb you eat is pretty much almost a meal, so you have to remember that. Lumbus bread. <laughs> And those ones, those are the ones you gotta, uh, you gotta test drive them, like give your give your body time to adjust to those things before you just yes. kind of dump right in them. Yes. You you don't want to just jump right into these. It's the same thing with an MRE. You can't just go out in the woods and live off MREs and think you're never gonna have diarrhea because all that sodium in your body it causes problems. So just try to get your body used to these every so often. Um, we do sell these too. Um, so on our website. So if you ever want to go there, we sell. This on our website, and these, these packages of water. These are actually part of the 72 hour kit we do sell. So, um, and then the 72 hour kits also come with your more standard first aid, glow sticks, uh, candles, and then hand warmers. So, and then we always recommend to people to, to get some kind of radio slash flashlight, or if you can, get both separate. Um, this is just standard crank radio. So you just crank it up. And then, then you have radio, just for emergencies. Um, <clears throat> going on to basic first aid kits, you can get, this one's about $20 at your local dollar store. So if you shop around, you can really do it pretty, pretty cheap. Um, the bag is not included for that $20, so I just find extra bags. Um, everything from peroxide to alcohol, sanitizing wipes. Um, to hand sanitizer, um, here's the hand wipes, uh, different tapes, mask, different bandages, and gauze and other things. So that's about $20 right there. So you can save yourself some money. <clears throat> and then I always tell people, you should always have some kind of knife. So different sizes of knife, different depends on what you want. Yes, this is the Crocodile Dundee knife, everyone loves it. Um, these size of knives, they're not really practical. Um, they are nice to look at, but they're really, really big and they're hard to work with. So I always recommend to people to always buy something smaller, something that's gonna fit in your hand and be pretty light. So something as small as this to, to this size. This one right here is about five and a half inches and this is about four and a half, five inches. So. And then, every, and then next would be different style of flashlights. <clears throat> These two, uh, this one is J5 Tactical, which we sell. This is nice because it takes just a AA battery. So in a disaster, it's great because all you have to do is you can go to your local grocery store, corner store, gas station, anywhere, and all of them will sell AA batteries. AAA usually go into these bigger ones. Um, they're a little bit more harder to come by sometime in disasters, so we always tell people to stick with stuff that's easy, or you can get into the crank ones. So this is uh, this is from IKEA, just a standard crank flashlight. Same with this one. This one is not from IKEA; it's Energizer, but and it has a solar charger on it. And then, yeah, and then your standard whatever you can find backpack to fit it all in. But this is just a standard bug out bag, gets you through the next three days. And it gives you a bu bunch of tools that you need to, to build a shelter or, or whatever you need to do to get home or to get away. 
So, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.